Hey. It's uh, it's Big Friday. I got 45 and 80 today. Zach has 35 and 75, and Madison has 83 and 105. So we're all doing some pretty hefty stuff. Hers are like fucking complexes, but whatever. Tell them that. The theme, there isn't like an actual consensus of what a double is. There's not. I think it should be done within 20 seconds if it's a double on snatch, 30 seconds if it's a double on clean and jerk. And back squats, you're allowed to rack the bar in between reps. For what? sure. <laughs> That's why it makes no sense. So like, like people will be like, oh, snatch. I'll be like, yeah. Talk up again. You have to like stay addressed to the bar the whole time. Yeah. I had fucking Ebola earlier this week. My stomach was just, turns out I was eating expired barbecue sauce or something. That shit goes expired? You left it out. Oh. Yeah. I mean, it's left out of the store. Well, once you open it, oh. like it literally says keep refrigerated after opening. But, so I spent, what night was it? Wednesday. Tuesday night. Shit my brains out all night. And then uh, Wednesday was okay. And then we rested yesterday. So I've just been a mess. A lot. Last week I was. Uh, you said like 111. I made weight. I was 111.4 last night before bed. And I woke up like right at 109. That's how you make weight. Just getting bowl of the weekend. Yeah. But we're fine. We ate good today. We ate good yesterday. Stomach's fine. <laughs> We're using tzatziki sauce instead of barbecue sauce, so we're fucking, we're doing okay. Oh yeah, the comments were really good. What do we have to do to get the fucking views up? I have no idea. Just, all right, here's what I want everyone to do. Either leave a comment or open up your computer, plug it in, leave it on all night, and just let the video play over and over again, because we gotta get something going here. I like making these videos, and I think you guys like watching them, but it's, such a small amount of people, and I'm grateful for all of you, but I feel like it could be more people if we really put our work to it. This isn't my YouTube channel, this is our YouTube channel. So I want you guys to help me grow it. And if you don't want to, that's fine. I'm not making you, but um, I don't know. Something, maybe be like, one of those people that when they're eating lunch and they have some on the TV and it's me and they like do it on their story. That's cool. I like those. Um, I like comments. I like likes. I like subscribes. Any of them. I'm going to go fucking feral today. Last time I said that I had a really good day. So if I go feral, you guys have to do one of those things. Break. Oh yeah, you guys didn't comment enough, so I got a fucking Audi. Yeah, if, if I get 100,000 views, I will tattoo, I got 100,000 views on a YouTube video on my body somewhere. I will legitimately do that. I'm fucking so desperate, please. If you have tight rear delts, this is the only stretch you'll ever need. You're gonna take your hands, and you're gonna put them on the small of your back, right by your hips. Then you're gonna squat, and you're gonna put your elbows inside of your knees, and then you could just press in your knees to stretch your rear delts. I don't even think I can do that. You look like an idiot, and you'll probably hurt yourself. But if you're okay with either of those things, this is the stretch for you. My rack position was so tight on Wednesday, and I did this, and it was just fine. We should welcome another member to the tripod club, but Zach has a tripod now. I always do. Follow Zach on Instagram, at Z A K Hernandez, aka Taco Woods. <laughs> Whoa. You have barbell apparel to make a hat yet? No straps again. A tape what? Yeah, I used to shit on people that would tape their thumbs. And I never did because I just didn't train without straps, so my thumbs would always be fine. But now that I snatch without straps, my thumbs are constantly fucked up, so I gotta tape them. Sorry. It's a little pretty to see.
Double at 110, double at 120, double at 130. Oh wait, no, yeah. Two singles at 35, two singles at 40, one single at 45. Shit, what a day. That's the first half of the day. Woo. If I miss one or two, it's fine. If I miss four or five, it's not fine, but I'll make it. All right. What are you? Not a really a bet. Just whoever has the most misses throughout the week between me, Zach, and Madison, that person has to clean up everybody's weights at the end of Friday. Yeah. Shit, man, come on. Come on. Yeah, yeah. Yep. That a boy. Yeah. There we go. Good left. Yeah, let's go. That a boy. All right, that was better. Um, silly little miss at 45, but that's fine. I was honestly expecting more. Monday went terribly. Monday was like not even a training session. It was so bad, but. I've had some stressors outside of training a little bit and wasn't eating as much, wasn't blah, blah, blah. I was doing a lot of work with Dozer as a business. So I was just kind of sidetracked and recovery slipped. So what I did is I felt way behind on my recovery. I felt really beat down. And I know if I was recovering properly, I'd be fine, but I wasn't. So what I did was I deloaded the accessories hard. I did everything else the same, but after Monday, I just deloaded the accessories and my recovery caught up. I didn't have to alter the core programming at all. Was able to do everything and now I'm back to feeling how I should feel. And then next week we can just keep doing things the same. So before you alter programming, you just start skipping days, take the accessory work back if you're really getting beat down and you'll be fine. That's what I did. And now I'm excited for cleaning jerks because I feel fucking solid today. So one miss on snatch. I was expecting way more, but we're good.
So now we have cleaning jerks. You're gonna dog out on. It's not like shit, dude. Yeah, there we go. Atta boy. Go! Come on, Dylan. Get up! Make it. Get up! Yeah. Set. That a boy. All right. So I think that was my best 180 ever. Maybe it's never felt that light throughout the whole lift. So we are we're on to something. Uh, like I said, if you guys are feeling really beat down, just chop out those accessories. Let the body get some extra healing time. Don't add too much fatigue and. You heal up very quick. The body's adapted to do a lot, so if you push yourself over the edge, you can dial back a little bit on the accessories and you'll be fine. If you haven't heard, I am running a transformation competition for the squat. So if you have bought one of the squat programs on March 31st, I'm gonna be picking a winner that has the best transformation from the squat program. The winner gets $1,000. All you gotta do is post your results before March 31st, Use hashtag dozer squat program. If you want the link for the squat program, it's down there. So you can win a thousand bucks and get your legs really fucking strong. Um, more money, more leg strength is a good problem to have. And if you're just trying to get the lifts better, do the program I'm doing, do the dog pack. This is the hard, this is the most challenging cycle we've had on it, but we're peaking next month. So if you want to get in on it, now's a good time. And I have something lined up for the dog pack. That's kind of cool. So be on the lookout for that. And yeah, clothes, barbell apparel. That's what I'm wearing today. I got the thicker sweatpants on because it's pretty fucking cold in Austin. And supplements, Gorilla Mode Base. I'm telling you, nothing fucking better. Those links are down there. If you want some straps, if you want a belt, the best belt in the world, onyxstraps.com, that's down there as well. But other than that, I will see you guys next week. And please, 100,000 comment or 100,000 views I will get the title of this video tattooed on me somewhere. I'm deadly fucking serious. Goodbye. That's all the video. <laughs>